start starting at John Garland in a total That's that one there. Yeah. You go you go up in, in price range? Like from price up? That's where you do it? No, you we just doesn't matter. We, we, Whatever we, confirmed? Whatever we got confirmed, but we try to do it in location, <laughs> right? So we do that and we're coming back to the W5 but we're doing it back this, right? right? Pretty much in here. Uh, Fresnel and all those guys. Uh, then after that, um, we're going to end in Mimico. There's a triplex there we're going to go see. The, the multi-million ones didn't come through. We booked about five of them. None of them came through. So what's the highest we're going in price? Well, highest today would be about 600, uh, 690. 619, that's yes. a triplex? That's a triplex, right. Okay. We, we, we booked five uh, multi million and they all canceled. One of them had mold issues too. The last the guy, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you see that property 25? It, it, it wasn't? It wasn't there. So yes. just have a sign on the lawn then? Yeah. Just okay. a sign on the lawn, yes. Okay. Excellent. All right, folks. How are we doing today? Excellent. Good. All right. So um, today we have, we have Patrick, our, um, our realtor, and his partner Rod. Um, so these two guys are going to be guiding us towards the properties we'll be looking at today. We're looking at properties from the, the $100,000 range all the way up to about $619,000. Uh, we had a few million dollars property cancellation. Uh, but we, if we're on the road we can, and we see a million dollar plus property, we can just stop and show exactly what, what they look like and what the uh, earning potentials can be with those properties. Uh, we were looking at properties today from a $100,000 range, um, like a, from a three bedroom condominium, and it goes up and up from there. Um, my favorite right now, because what happens in the real estate market, um, and that's what most times when people teach in real estate, um, it doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work, because they teach you real estate from the classroom. And it's t in the classroom is all theory. When you get where we're at right now, which is the street, thing, things change, okay? So what we've seen in the market right now is every six months or every eight, nine months, the favorite property changes. And what, what I call the favorite property is a property that gives you the best cost to value. And right now, that's the five-level back splits in the W5. Um, three years ago, it was the triplexes in the W6. Right now, the triplex in W6, they overvalue even in the, the overvalue. So if you buy them, it doesn't make any financial sense to you. So we're looking at the, tri uh, the back splits, uh, good fair market value, you're getting good positive cash flow. Um, even two years ago, the favorite property um, to buy was um, a 12 unit building, ranging from 950 to about 11, a million 100. You can't find those on the market, and the ones that's on the market is overvalue, okay? So we change Every six months, eight months, depends on what property we're looking at, and we decide to buy those. So the, big, the good thing is, because you're in the GTA, you have a wide range of property to buy to select from. So if you can't find a million dollar property today, it's not a big deal. Maybe six months, a year down the road, it comes back onto the market at a good price, and you can pick it up, right? Um, any questions before we start? I'm sure. No questions at all? We're going to start at? John Garland. My favorite neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> 260 John Garland. And, and this is actually a unique place. You're going to see what we have here. We have a 14, 14 to 1600 square foot townhouse going for 105,000. <laughs> exactly. Wow. <laughs> no. If you think that's impressive, wait till you see a three-bedroom, single um, bathroom condominium for about forty-seven thousand dollars, right in Toronto. Huh? Some on Dixon Road, some on um, Albion. Albion, you might find a few of them. Okay. So you, you, you in, in Toronto, you have a wide range of real estate to purchase, from a fifty-thousand-dollar condo all the way to fifteen million-plus property. So we don't need to go to Florida, Arizona, anywhere to find good real estate, okay? And one of the good thing we have here, we have a strong immigrant population, keep coming and coming. So whatever you own, does somebody want to rent it? So we're basically going through the dynamics. Uh -huh. The list price for this condo is 125,000. The condo fees are $425. It's a three bedroom 
Now I mentioned that the condo fees here just include water. Hydro and uh, hydro and uh, well, and heat will be covered by the and owner. Insurance, insurance for the billing, for exterior. Ex exterior, exactly. Right. Yeah. What's exactly. the condo fee for this one? Four hundred twenty-five dollars. Four hundred twenty-five dollars. Yes. What's the potential rent in this area? Probably, I would say anywhere from twelve hundred, twelve hundred to fourteen hundred dollars, anywhere there. And that depends on the condition. It, it depends on the condition. So it could be fourteen hundred. It could be fourteen hundred. I mean, I would, if I bought a unit here, I would buy it and I would, you know, I would renovate it, do it, paint it, you know, yeah. maybe do, do some flooring, and then that basically brings the value up. Okay. Do, you, do you know uh, what's a CME in this area, this property area? This property, this area, all these properties generally would be range between, I would say, between $105,000 or just a bit over $100,000 to about $130,000, $140,000. So you can, you have a wide range to pick from depending on your budget. Okay. So if we if we decide to buy this property here, what do you assume or assess the cash flow is going to be? You could easily cash flow. I mean, you could easily cash flow about four or five hundred dollars if you do things right. At one hundred and twenty-five thousand. Yes. Right, and we'll five percent down. Five percent. Ten percent down. That's like ten thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Yes. All right, let's go make money. Okay. <laughs> you can buy a couple. Then. You can buy a couple. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go make money. Let's go inside. Thank and this is a vacant property, right? This is a vacant property. All right, let's do it. But we uh, might as well just walk down to see. Yeah. I'm going to go uh, what else is You'll scope it. I'm going to go scope it. Okay. Because in this one, we don't really have to go in and group. Yeah, this is $4,000 for this property. Definitely. Right. So we're looking at, let's say, 5 10% down. Correct. Um, and you said 400 a month in positive cash flow. So what's our rate of return? Roughly, ballpark numbers. Who's the mathematician here? So 10% down, that's about. <laughs> 14,000? 14, 10 to 14,000. Yeah. I'm looking at 500 dollars a month in positive cash flow, or four, let's say 400. Yeah. That's about $4,800 for the, for the year. So what's our rate to return, roughly? You're talking about $4,800 over a year, right? Right, so and $14,000 over a year, over right. five years. No, per year, over 14,000 down. Over 14,000 down. Right. So what need, uh, what's the rate to return? Here? Let's ballpark it. We don't have to be accurate. About 33. About 33? Yeah. 33% yeah. rate of return of your money. So either way, you're going to make money no matter what. Um, we're just showing you this property as references. The only problem I have with this property is a single unit rental. That means if your tenant move out, you're 100% responsible for the expense of this property. To me, that's a risk. I don't like that. But we're just showing you these properties. You can see your earning potential if you decide to follow or buy one of these um, lower cost property. About 34%. About 34%. So, so that's pretty security, good. Security, could you would you recommend something like a lease option? Then that would um, so we can lease option this property. Um, it'd be a, a, a good strategy, and that means the, the the person who is going to be living here is actually buying the property from you. So that's a bit of a security. They're going to put at least about 5, 10, 15% down, depends on what you require on your contract. So I wouldn't eliminate this property, but a lease option would work perfect for this deal. But again, that's just a short-term strategy, getting in and getting out uh, in a short time frame, over a three years time frame, um, you, you exit in from this deal maximum. And if you do a lease option with this property, um, you're probably looking at least about, you want to get the numbers, Justin, without scaring them too much? <laughs> if we do a lease option in this property, uh, based on those numbers, you're probably looking at about 10 to 15% per month rate of return on your money yeah. if you do an unconventional strategy with this property here. Okay, and that's very, very conservative. If we can crank it up, we can probably get more. Okay. Um, now, for that kind of return, you probably might want to do some work on this property. It depends on this condition, because the person can have to live there, right? It's not just a rental. And if you put the money in, I think you get a, every single penny plus some out. Even if you get 5% per month in return, is that good? Absolutely. Right. So unconventional strategy makes you a lot of money. Um, it's good to make quick money in a short time frame. But over the long term, you always want to buy, hold, and profit. We see that being the most successful strategy over the, over the years. All right, let's go in and see what this property look like. <laughs> keep it going, Justin. Keep it going, keep it going. 
You go ahead, I'll hold the door. I'll hold the door. Go ahead. <laughs> Justin, stand back. Let them go in. Stand back. Let them go in ahead of you. All right. Takes me a little bit long. Crazy. All right. All right. Yep. Sounds good. Go ahead. All right. Let's do it. Just go up, bounce through. Get the light going on there. You, what I would do, it in, because sometimes there are a lot of properties like this around, I would make this unit the best unit in the area. That would make it, because sometimes the, the days on market in this area are long, so you would want to really do this property up, right? It won't cost you a lot to do it. I'll make it stand out, because people do buy in these areas, and I think with that, that way you'll be able to, to get it off the market fast when you sell it. Uh, more important, this area is uh, probably a good area to flip properties if you want to do that. We saw a property in this area on the market um, last year for like $52,000 was for sale, one of these same um, condo um, project. And within two months time frame, it was back on the market for $96,000. So the person did some fix up, bang, it sells quick. But most of these properties in this area here, uh, because the price range, they're owned by investors. And they want a fast turnover. You make fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 within two, three months time frame. Okay, you buy them in rough condition. This one is probably, I would say this is in decent condition. It's a decent, I mean, this is. It's a decent condition. Yeah. Awesome, you know, That's I right. Personally, just take out the stucco and paint it, repaint it. It has a nice backsplash in the kitchen over there. The cabinet's looking, you know, it's, this is re pretty much good to go. Just a few things here and there. Right. Yeah. So you'll probably say this is a flip. This is a flip, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a flip. If it yeah. hits you this property, it probably was on the market um, two or three months ago at a yeah. low price. So, so if, you, um, flip, if you flip this, then um, how soon do you think it would, I mean, how much would it go for in about three, two, three months or so? Two, three months. Right now, this is listed at about 124. 124. You could easily probably bring this up to about, I'd say, 140. 145. Yeah, but uh, maybe if somewhere. you're going to flip, you don't want to buy at this I'm price range. Buy. You're not going to buy at this no, price no, this, this, this is no, too high. This yeah. is too high. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. We, would, you, we would probably beat this down maybe to about 110,000. Uh -huh. yeah. And so that way, you, you're going to, when you flip it in four months, three, four months' time, you're going to easily make about thirty, forty thousand oh, dollars okay. on it. Right. Or the other option is to buy one that's in rough condition yeah. of my 80, 90,000 dollars or $70,000, do some work and bring it up to this condition right. and sell for 120, 134. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Okay. So there are a lot of options. Yeah. All right. All right, let's go see what the rest of the house looks like. Excellent. And we're saying that you're probably going to pay 80, 85,000 max for this property. Yeah. Comparing it to the other property, the other property was really fixed up. And you can tell it was done by a flipper. This one, so this one, has, let me look at it. There hasn't been any work done. So you're going to put maybe about 10 grand into this property and then sell it for 124, 120, 130, maybe even more. You so never know. Did the other property have an appliance inside of it? I don't remember. It, yeah. it had the laundry, it had the fridge. Did, did it have the laundry machines downstairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it had the, the washer and dryer. It had a bathroom downstairs, yes. So there's no fridge. No, exactly. No exactly. So even maybe even go lower in, in asking price because there are no appliances. Maybe even go seventy five. That's right. Yeah. You discount five six yeah. thousand dollars for appliances. For the appliances. Right. So if you're looking at if you buy that seventy five thousand dollars, you put about twenty grand into this property. Um, that brings you up to about a hundred ninety five thousand dollars, and you get one twenty four for this property. Your rate of return is is is, is pretty decent. You almost double your money, really and truly. Um, the, the only thing you got to keep in mind if you buy a property at this price range, you would not get multiple offers, <laughs> just so you know. Yeah. It won't be overbidding on this one. The days on the market are also going to be longer because this is not a high demand neighborhood. You're hoping that a lazy investor saw this property and just come in and want to buy it and rent it out. Exactly. Um, or a brand new immigrant from a different country and they would have, they, their budget is pretty tight on what they can afford. 
I'm really and truly you can work in a factory and pay for this m mortgage if you, if you want to do that. It's not a big deal. So any even work, working in the minimum wage job, you can probably afford this mortgage. Uh, $124,000 was my mortgage payment going to be like. Uh, in the, in, with with 2.9% interest, interest rate, probably like four or $500 a month. Yeah. <laughs> That's your mortgage payment. Yeah. So uh, even, even a minimum wage job can pay for this property. Yeah. Well, yeah. You understand? And, and um, the yeah. fee, Say that? The, the maintenance, maintenance fee. I can tell you. It's going to be about the same one. It's about $400, 400 425 They're all about in, in and that taxes, same range. Taxes, taxes which is important. About, uh, Fifteen hundred dollars based on the last one. Um, Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. So yeah. hundred dollars a month for taxes. Um, so you're looking at all in about a thousand dollars a month. You can carry this this fourteen hundred square foot property for, and you're picking it up at one hundred twenty-four thousand dollars in top condition. It's just moving, just like the other one. You're moving, and you start living. If you're gonna do a lease option, this one here, you're not gonna pay one twenty-four. You're probably paying one forty-eight, one fifty. So if you if you buy it, you fix it up and do a lease option. Your markup is is huge. <laughs> okay, so you have a lot of options. Um, so you guys feel free to go ahead upstairs, um, browse it, look at it. Don't get comfortable. Don't lay in the bed if it's one is there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>